What is up, boys? We are back here with another Asian English pack, this time Creation Pack 05. These packs are kind of like the premium packs that the OCG gets. I think like I think there's an analogous or similarity there. And um, I guess it would be kind of like their side sets in, from our side, you know, uh, except with less crap and more reprints. Um, but uh, yes, Creation Pack 5, let's see uh, what this has. I don't know the rarities, you know. I'm assuming it's super rares, ultra rares, secret rares, and ulties. Um, but again, I don't know. So that is, this is an adventure we're taking together, guys. Okay, we get a, one bonus pack in here as well. Uh, just like, no token though. Just like the, um, you know, the main boxes, although, where is it? Okay, it's that it's at the very end here. Let's see what the bonus pack has. I don't know, I don't know what the contents of the bonus pack are, if it's just like anything that the pack, uh, the regular packs, ha it has, or what, but, uh, okay, so we got a Flu Wonder Rees and the uh, Eglint Ultra Rare, that is interesting, pretty cool. If you guys can't tell with the camera, the, the borders are actually pretty glossy on these uh, ultras and super rares, which I kind of dig. You know, it, it makes them look more different, you know, different enough from the TCG and the OCG. Eh, maybe not the OCG, but definitely the TCG. We got Medoche, uh, Ch Chugs Valier, Puppet Parade, Flu Underies, and uh, Stary. Cyber Emergency, that one's inter an interesting print. Uh, number C40, Gimmick Puppet of Dark Strings. Super rare, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Um, Dolce Mew Fuel. I have no idea what's in this, guys. I picked this one in particular because of Exodia in the front, but I have no idea what's in here. Elder of the Six Samurai, and then an ultra rare Gimmick Puppet. Uh, dreary doll. So there's a lot of uh, gimmick puppets. I'm assuming, which is kind of interesting, I, I guess. Um, a Dolce lesson. Uh, she ends dojo, and then uh, oh yeah, didn't Six Samurai recently get new support? Maybe that's why they're they're in this set here. Medolce hoot cake, and uh, of course also gimmick puppets have new support recently. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we got the Atlantean Dragon, Flu Under Ease, and Tokan, Severential Eat a Tent with the big ass titties, bro, and <laughs> Gimme Puppet Nightmare. Wasn't this like really expensive on our side, actually, not that long ago? A Drytron Delta Altaius. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know if, the, if it's just like odd that we're pulling supers and all, all supers and ultras here. Um, or that's the way this pack is in particular, but I ain't complaining. We got a Rebarian Shark, and then an Ultra Rare Advent of Adventure. Nice, it's kind of damaged. These, the pull tabs are kind of hit and miss in my opinion. Now, I can I can actually see why people, because I've seen some OCG openings, right? They get z scissors and cut the top instead of using the pull tabs, and I understand why. Now, 100%, that is the way to go. Uh, Vernus, Vernus Live in full bloom. A super rare Mist Valley Apex Avion. Yo, that's pretty dope. All right. Come on, man. Can we get secret rares? Can we get ulties? I don't know. Oh, well, there actually is something in here. It looks too shiny to be an ulti, though. Might be a QCR. Drytron Beta Rat, Rastabin. Uh, Mermaid Shark Super Polly. That's a cool reprint. Uh, Bee Trooper Fly and Sting. Yeah, it's definitely a Q. Or, um, what do they call you? QCRs? Something like that? I don't know. And it is a Dolce. Oh, that is a terrible card, man. The Dolce. Uh, I don't even know her name. Some, some bitch with the desserts that likes desserts. Either cooking them or eating them. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, that's cool. So QCRs are definitely able to be pulled in, in these sets. Light and Dragon, Bee Trooper, Assault Roller, uh, Cage Musha. Oh, and an ulti. There we go. Back to back. Title Dragon Ruler of the Waterfalls. That looks badass, though. I ain't even gonna lie. I gotta buy more boxes, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure these cards are cheap as hell. I don't think they're gonna be cheap that long. Because, first of all, they're English. There's actually a market now for, like, OCG old-school alties 
given some time, bro, I don't know. I, I think because of this is this is English, we could see some some market trends leaning towards towards these Asian English higher rarity prints, man. Especially these alties, because they 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 just hit different, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm not a financial advisor. Um, don't invest in cardboard. You know that's kind of a stupid move. But yeah, at the same time, don't sleep on them. Machine duplication, uh, cyber emergency, and then uh, another Medolce, little bitch princess or whatever. I don't even know, man. I'm tired of waifus. In case you guys can't tell, fuck the waifus. It, not literally like you freaks want to, I'm sure. I mean, like, uh, I guess figuratively. Uh, Bakumit, Shark, Medolce, Promenade, uh, Flew Under Ease, and Eglin. So, oh yeah, that is the one we pulled in the, in the um, what's it called, the bonus pack, the boner pack. Uh, we got a Double Thin Shark, Flew Under Ease, and Steery, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, uh, Mizuhu, I believe, Gimmick Puppet, Giant Grinder, Jesus, Giant Grinder, that is an interesting name, Legendary Atlantean, Tri oh no, I almost dropped everything, Tri Tridon, Marshmilling, Marshmalon, Marshmilling Field, it's a weird name, Gimmick Puppet, Gigantes, Gigantes Doll, B Trooper, Sting Lancer, that's cool, I mean, that was a TCG exclusive or world premiere archetype, um, and I guess we're getting them in this in this set. Because, yeah, there's another Beat Trooper card in there. Gimme Puppet, Terror Baby, Cyber Angel, Titties. <laughs> every time, man, every time. You guys, Medolce. Me oh, that's the chick. Okay. There we go. We got a... Like she's only an Ultra Rare, maybe. But uh, it definitely looks a lot darker, the, the borders on, on the QCR. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay, so two more packs... Come on, maybe, maybe one more alt. I would rather have another ulti than a QCR, to be honest. The ulti just hit a little bit different for me. Uh, Gazer, Gazer Shark, B Trooper Formation, Drytron Nova, super rare. Cool. All right, last pack. Come on, man. Give me, give me, give me something good. Medolce Palooza, Ven Vernislif in full bloom, Sky Strike, your six strike. Uh, Super Poly, and uh, unfortunately, we got a B Trooper Cruel Saturn Anus or some shit like that. Okay, so quick recap, because I'm still kind of curious about these pull rates here. Uh, they are definitely different than the core set that we opened recently on the channel. And, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know, like, variety in, in products is definitely something that I love seeing. I'm mixing up all of these damn rarities, though. Okay, so every pack did have a high rarity card for sure and it seems like i mean you obviously are going to get more super rares than uh ultra rares and it kind of seems like you though you can't you can't get a card in super rare and an ultra rare at least i didn't in this case because they're all very unique in that regard um unless i am mistaken i am not and then but these are our um higher rarity ones so one two three four five six seven eight nine super rares one, two, three, four, five ultra rares, and then one of each QCR, or is it Starlight? It's a QCR, uh, and then one ulti. So that's that's kind of decent. I'm I'm buying more of this. Of not maybe not this one in particular because there's a lot of freaking waifus, but I'm buying more boxes of these guys. Watch out on the channel. It's a very interesting thing that the AE is doing, or. I want to I want to I want to call them like an EU right, but the A Asian countries are doing compared to North America and Europe with the TCG crap that's going on. But catch you guys in the next one.